Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, guys, wherever you are on this beautiful world. Whenever you're watching this YouTube video, welcome to the Bitcoin Family YouTube channel for the newcomers. My name is Didi. Today, a TA video about Bitcoin. Uh, yes, we are in the bear market, but are we near the bottom or did we already see the bottom? This video will show you a cool chart that is telling you exactly where we are if we look at the past and the past means to the ta pass now let's quickly jump into that uh, first chart over this is uh, the 15 minute chart i'm showing you the bam bam indicator on the 15 minute chart just showing you how it works okay we have a long flag over there but there is still blue not taking it so we will wait till there is a candle closing above the yellow stepping line somewhere over here then we get a confirmation of the green arrow we are turning green over there so that is when you take that long and if you even take that long over there uh, and you're in it still you're like 1.5 percent without leverage with a leverage of 10 that's a 15 percent rate on the 15 minute chart so that's in one two three four five, uh, it's about like a three four hour trade so that's a very nice profit over there now and uh, the indicators you get on the bitcoin family.com we zoom out we zoom out to this one over here and um, this is the weekly chart and on the weekly chart i just want to show you again that we are having that lower low but we are keeping support and at the moment we are creating this new weekly candle which will close in five days of course and in five days we can see if this will be a huge wick to the downside and a larger body to the upside that will mean a little bit more of a reversal candle just like this red one was negative large top wick small body means the market is going down if we do the same way but now the other way around we could be going and hunt for that 18,200 level that purple line the 300 weekly moving average if we zoom out to the monthly and uh, we can see exactly the same uh, we are keeping support this could very easily be a bottom month candle now in december like if we look at the halvings those red lines over here these are the halvings and um, we can see that when these halvings appear that we already are in a bullish momentum when these halvings are there we are already in a bullish momentum when this halving is there we will be already in a bullish momentum so we need to be bottoming out as we are like 65 percent after uh, the previous halving and um, we should be turning around next year 2023 to become a little bit more positive and to crawl up to that 2024 halving in march um, and then start to create new all-time highs but let's take a look at those charts to show you what i mean um, exactly like over here this one is the first one now i need to shovel my face all over the place to uh, give you a beautiful view but over here is a good place and um, this is the first one this is the, the drop below the realized price the realized price is this dollar line that you can see on every chart 2018 and here 2014 and the realized price is the average purchase of all bitcoin now every bear market we spend a certain amount of days down below um, that realized price 35 that is um, 57 that's 110 that's 152 days at the moment previous 2018 we only spent 133 days below it but the time before 2014 we spent almost 260 days below it so at the moment with 160 days almost 150 days we are in between these two rallies when it comes to the bear market and the price down below the uh, realized price now to show you something really cool is this one because this one is giving you the market value to realized value temperature so that's the mvrvt score now we can see these are the bull run tops every time that peaks over there and we can also see these are the bear market bottoms the darkish blue over there okay and we can see that the tops are decreasing and we can see also that these bear market bottoms are slightly decreasing now if we copy all these runs onto each other we will get this chart and on this chart it shows you exactly where we are at the moment at a cycle guys and that is the thing that you always need to remember in these cycles yes we had uh, the blue is the first cycle the green is the second cycle and now the yellow is that third cycle but look they always in the bear market here 30 months after the halving come together in this area so these on the bottom are the months after the halving and then when we come together below that zero level 30 months to 33 months after the halving we become bullish again at least we became bullish again in the last previous two cycles so we are exactly there 
this is the ultimate moment to be buying into Bitcoin if you believe in the long term uh, investment of Bitcoin. If you believe that Bitcoin will be there in the next couple of 10 years, because that means that from a bear market, we will start to become bullish again and then all the way go up into these huge peaks again in that next bull run. And that is also what we see on this chart over here. On this chart, you can see the consecutive days without an all time highs. And every run we have that. So here we had 628 days before we created a new all time high. 209 days. So that's in total 800 days almost. 1180 days before we created a new all time high. 1079 days. That was in the previous bull run before we went above that 20k all time high. And now we are already in almost 600 days um, lower than the previous all time high. So yes, it can take another 400 days, which is a year before we create a new all time high. Or we, it can even take like 700 days, so that's almost two years before we create a new all time high. But uh, it is not a strange thing that is happening. This happens every time again and again. And the most important part is, bam, over here, I think this one is very important for you guys to see, because on this chart, you can see the global population using Bitcoin and the Bitcoin supply issuance. So this yellow line is the issuance. So here, every year, a lot of Bitcoins were issued, and we will go all the way up to the year 2140, where less and less Bitcoins every year will be issued. That is because of the halving. The m amount of Bitcoins that are mined per block is decreasing all the way up to the last Bitcoin that will be mined in the year 2140. Now, in the global population of using Bitcoin, we are at 3-4%. We are just here. So this population can get an immense boost all the way up to 80, maybe 100% of people, almost 100% of people using Bitcoin. So, and that is what you need to understand. The gap, this gap is becoming wider and wider. Less Bitcoins are being mined every day, all the way up the next 120 years. More people want to have access to that same system. And what does happen when the demand grows explosively, but the offer stays the same or becomes less, less, less every year, that is when the price will rise again. That is how uh, Bitcoin is working and I uh, think Bitcoin will be working for the next couple of years. Short TA video. I hope you really enjoyed this TA video. If you did enjoy the TA video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends and family, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell and leave a comment. What do you think about these charts? Again, if you want to have access to the Bam Bam indicator, you go to the bitcoinfamily.com, the bitcoinfamily.com. Uh, you will find all the information of the indicators, also information about our new trade bot that is uh, spot trading and makes an average of 3.5. 5% a month at the moment. So a uh, really interesting bot. Now, that was really everything. I'm going to zoom out because my friend from the Netherlands, Ronnie, is still here uh, visiting. So we are doing some stuff. Uh, that's why I didn't make a video yesterday. We went to the Monkey Hill or something where all money in case we're having sex. Check that, check that reel on my Instagram. <laughs> you will laugh your ass off. Uh, so I will see you tomorrow again. Thank you for watching. See you tomorrow. Bam. <laughs>